Good morning everyone, how you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now today, I am in Randall's Cemetery and Crematorium, and we've come to find the final resting memorial plaque of Ray Wilkins, that amazing, amazing footballer. Um, played for a number of clubs, I'll tell you a bit more about him real soon, and of course, uh, played for England as well. Um, so, if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, it's free. You find out, um, hit the notification bell and then you get notified when there's more videos going up. And um, yeah, if you went to see Ray Wilkins play in a football match at any time in your career, I'm just trying to think whether I have. He never played, apart from England, for any of the teams that I generally watch per se. Um, I support Portsmouth, but I won't say it too loud. Um, so I don't, I can't remember whether I've ever seen him play against Pompey or not. I don't know. I have to really rack my brains on that one. Um, yeah, so let us know and uh, write in the comments down below, won't you? And I'll tell you a little bit more now about Ray Wilkins. Raymond Colin Wilkins, MBE, 14th of September 1956 to the 4th of April 2018, was an English football player and coach. Born into a footballing family with his father and three brothers involved in the game, Wilkins played as a midfielder. He began his career at Chelsea where he was appointed captain at the age of 18 and later played for the clubs including Manchester United, AC Milan, Queen's Park Rangers and Rangers. He won 84 caps for the England national football team from 1976 to 1986, playing at UEFA Euros 1980 and the 1982 and 1986 FIFA World Cups. Born in Hillington, Middlesex, Wilkins started his career with the Sunday league team Senrab that played in Wanstead Flats, East London. Wilkins made his name in the 1970s with boyhood club Chelsea, which he joined as an apprentice, progressing to the first team debut against Norwich City at the age of 17 on the 26th of November of October 1973 as a substitute in a 3-0 home league win. In 1979, after Chelsea were relegated, Wilkins signed for Manchester United for a fee of £825,000, the highest fee received for a Chelsea player at the time. He scored 10 goals in his first five years with the Red Devils, including a long-range strike in a two-all draw with Brighton and Hove Albion at the 1983 FA Cup final. United won the replay. He was voted Player of the Year by the team supporters at the end of the 1983-1984 season. His midfield performances drew the attention of AC Milan, who made United a 1.5 million offer for the player. Wilkins signed with AC Milan in the summer of 1984. He later remarked that the most difficult part of adapting to the Italian game was the focus and fitness. The coaching staff made him work to reduce his body fat levels and Wilkins described the result as him being in the best shape of his career. The Italian team was struggling during this period, having suffered relegation in the 1981-1982 Serie A season, and Wilkins was joined by fellow Englishman Mark Haightley, himself replacing another compatriot, Luther Blissett. The only foreign players in the squad, the pair helped the team to victory over rivals Inter Milan in the Milan derby that October. Winning plaudits from Italian press and the club's fans in the first year, Wilkins played 28 Serie A games to bring the team fifth into the league and also won a runners-up medal for the Coppa Italia, having eliminated Inter in the semis. The longest stint of his late career was at Queen's Park Rangers, for whom he was a regular first-team player from November 1989 to 1994. Including the team's first two Premier League seasons, he made his debut in the 3-0 away win versus Crystal Palace. Wilkins left QPR in the summer of 1994 on a free transfer to join Crystal Palace as a player coach under manager Alan Smith, but only made one appearance due to breaking his left foot on his debut. Wilkins rejoined QPR as a player manager on the 15th of November 1994, following the exit of Jerry Francis. The rest of that season was a success with the team finishing eighth in the Premiership. However, the close season of 1995 saw the departure of Les Ferdinand to Newcastle and the following season the team struggled and were relegated. As player manager he appeared in a further 21 games for the club from 1994 to 1996. 
Wilkins left QPR by mutual agreement in September 1996 after the club was bought by media tycoon Chris Wright following their relegation from the FA Premier League. Wilkins scored three goals in 84 games for England, captained the team on 10 occasions and played at the 1982 and 1986 World Cups. Wilkins was called up to play for England for the first time in 1976 by coach Don Revy, then made his debut on the 28th of May in a 3-2 win over Italy at the USA, USA Bicentennial Cup tournament in New York. He achieved one of his career highs after helping England qualify for the 1980 European Championships in Italy, the first tournament England had reached for a decade. During a group game against Belgium, Wilkins scored a memorable goal when he lobbed the whole Belgian defence. During that period, the Manchester United midfielder scored just three goals for his country. His second was one of the greatest goals ever scored by an England player. Representing his country against Belgium in the UEFA European Football Championship in 1980, he Thereby breaching the Belgians' obvious offside trap and delivered a second lob, this time over the head of the goalkeeper and into the net to put England ahead. The Belgians swiftly equalised, however, and England failed to progress beyond the group stage. On the 28th of March 2018, Wilkins had a cardiac arrest resulting in a fall and was placed into an induced coma at St George's Hospital in Tooting. He died at the age of 61 on the 4th of April 2018. So there's all the information there on Ray Wilkins. What an amazing footballer he was, but um, sadly went way too young. And, you know, 61. It's just no age at all these days, is it? Um, taken way too soon. And it's a shame because, like, you know, heart attack. And then, of course, you had Glenn Hoddle, who recently had a heart attack as well. And it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Like, they're, they're, they're fit all their lives, you know. They have to have a certain fitness level. But then, poof, Obviously, that fitness level just disappears. As we all know, it does go after a while. Anyway, let's carry on and we'll have a little look for Ray Wilkins Memorial Plaque, shall we? So I've been having a look around for Ray Wilkins Memorial Plaque. Look at, let me show you this first. Look how beautiful that is with the frost on it. It's amazing, isn't it? And I think I found it. Oh, it's a lovely little Christmas tree there and some stuff there that England sign special dad football there if we look down here um, we can see Ray Wilkins MBE 14th 9th 1956 to the 4th and 4th 2018 much loved husband dad and pop in our hearts you will always stay loved and remembered every day wow that's beautiful what a lovely memorial plaque to him. So there we have the final resting place, the memorial plaque of where um, Ray's ashes are. So thank you, Ray, um, for being not only an amazing sportsman and footballer, but he just seemed like a really nice guy as well, didn't he? Which was... Uh, you know, one of his strengths and of his characteristics was just that he, you know, when he's on camera, his football knowledge was second to none. He knew what he was talking about and he was an amazing player. Um, but he just seemed like a really down-to-earth guy. And all I've ever seen when people talk about him is how nice he was, you know, the amount of respect that he had. So, bless you, Ray. Let's hope. Um, yeah, bless you, Ray. Anyway. From a beautiful Leatherhead, Randall's Crematorium and Cemetery, on this cold, frosty morning. Thank you, as always, for watching. And um, let me show you this first. I like to show you things. I like to take you on the journey with me. Look at that, what a view. Um, leave your comments down below. And if you like the video, of course, give it one of them. And if you haven't done so, subscribe. Usual stuff, you know by now, don't you? And I will see you all on the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.